Hello, sustainable friend Chloe here, and today Lena and I will show you how we get our caffeine fix. I was lucky enough to inherit this off-brand Keurig from my sister when she moved, along with the reusable cup. I definitely recommend if you are using a Keurig to get a reusable cup, you can cut down on so much waste. Um, and also, I buy whole beans, so I do have a coffee grinder. My dad had an extra one, so I was lucky enough that he gave me his extra one. One tip I do have for these cups is do not fill past the fill line. Um, it can get really messy if you do, but otherwise, these are really great because it only makes one cup at a time, very low waste, and coffee grounds make really great compost. Now, Lena's method is very different from mine, so let's take a look at what she has to say. So I use a little bit of an old-fashioned method, a French press um, and a tea, uh, a little reusable container to make my tea and get my caffeine. Things I look for that are important to me are having coffee that is either USD organic, which both of these are, and or Fair Trade or Rainforest Alliance. So I'm trying to make sure that my coffee is um, sustainably and ethically sourced and um, oftentimes organic is a bonus, but uh, it's hard to find coffee that's the right brands. I try to avoid brands like Nestle um, and Starbucks a lot of the time. Starbucks does have some coffees that are ethically sourced and environmentally conscious, but it's hard to find and it's probably just a small percentage of their coffee, even if they market it otherwise. But um, sometimes Starbucks is good for a treat, but I'm looking forward to starting more of a process like Chloe where I grind my own coffee and, oh, my kettle is about to boil, uh, grind my own coffee and have it zero waste in a, in a jar that I get to take to my low waste store. So with the kettle, I boil the water and then I put about five tablespoons of whatever coffee I'm having into the French press let it sit for about five minutes, and then pour it. So I am watching my cholesterol intake, um, and coffee actually is an unknown source of cholesterol. There is some um, oils that don't get filtered out if you use a French press. So since I do use a French press, I am also using a cloth reusable filter that I wash every day. Here is the reusable cloth filter. It's like Cuban style and it's pretty nice. It's coffee stained, but it works really well. I've been using it for a few months now. You can also use your French press, but I like this to make small batch or even a, a decent sized batch of tea. Um, can, uh, chai tea, I don't use a filter. I boil it on the stove. that I wanted to make here at the end. Um, this coffee is not fair trade or um, Rainforest Alliance approved or whatever. Uh, I just kind of made the mistake of thinking by going to Whole Foods I would find something um, that was good. But um, yeah, should have done more research there. So there's obviously a lot of issues with growing coffee in general, but that is for another day. For now, we're going to stick with Elena's recommendations of buying fair trade certified and Rainforest Alliance approved products. We're definitely wanting to make sure that it says fair trade certified as of course different brands will try to get away with fair trade something up some other word um, and they will try to make it look like it is fair trade certified but it is not. Um, keeping in mind that this is important because fair trade entails that they have also taken into account the workers that are producing these coffee beans and, or whatever products have the fair trade stamp of approval on it. Um, so that means that people are being paid living wages and are working in acceptable working conditions. And also uh, entails that the coffee beans are sustainably grown and yes, it might cost a few extra dollars, but at the end of the day, like we've said before, this is just another reminder that your money, what you pay for, is kind of like voting. You're voting for the kind of future that you would like to see. 
So if you're spending the extra dollars, if you are able to, spending the extra dollars to buy fair trade certified or Rainforest Alliance approved products, you're saying that's what you want to see more of. You want to see more sustainable products that are good for the earth and that also take into consideration the people that are making these products. So just to recap, if you have a Keurig, definitely buy a reusable cup. There is a link in the description below of some cups that I found with minimal packaging. Unfortunately, so many come with a lot of packaging, but the plus side is, is you really only need one and it will last you forever. I don't, I've had this for months and my sister had it before me and before that, somebody else had it. We got it secondhand even then. <laughs> Another tip is to save any leftover coffee. You just have a sip left or anything like that, pour it into a container and put it in your fridge. Add it to your coffee the next day, or just, sometimes I like to just take a shot of coffee. As Lena lightly touched on, tea bags can be problematic because they, the bags that they are in contain microplastics. I have an article by the Smithsonian linked down below that you can read more about that. Um, but if you have tea bags laying around like I do that you want to use, you can just cut them open and use the tea that is inside. Then as soon as you are able to go out and buy some loose leaf tea. The final tip that we have for you is to use a reusable cup. Whether you are drinking coffee you made at home or you are going to Starbucks or wherever, it is very important that you're using a reusable cup. I personally, if I know that there is any, even just a small chance of me getting coffee in a day, I will throw this into my bag. Just like that. So that's it for this video, and we would like to know what you want to see more of. So if you have any comments, questions, concerns, anything you would like to say, leave that in the comments below. And also let us know what are you doing in your morning routine to be more sustainable. Let us know. Thanks for watching. Bye.